Hey, what's up, YouTube? Victor here with Celebrating Victories, back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna give you step by step on how to start your ATM business. So, step by step, how to open up your own ATM business. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Um, first thing is to just learn as much as you can about the industry, uh, just basic stuff about how to use an ATM, you know, just try to dive into it as much as you can. But at the same time, you don't want to be stuck in trying to get everything perfect. You don't need to know everything about it. You just need to know, have a good understanding and feel comfortable with moving on because as you move through this process and as you start your ATM company, what's going to happen, you're going to go through different situations and you're going to learn as you go. Okay. That's very important. Experience is the number one way to learn something and that's all across the board and anything in life that you do okay so that I wanted to say that first but now to the, the meat and potatoes and stuff okay the first thing you need to do in order to start an ATM company is gonna be to start an entity of your business so this is something I advise you to talk to a CPA okay if you guys don't know what a CPA is that's gonna be a certified professional accountant all right just get yourself a CPA talk to them about your situation and it varies you know everyone's situation is different most people start with a LLC okay but again this is something you want to ask a CPA that way they can give you direct guidance on it because again everyone's situation is different once you do that then you got to get into your EIN you got to get an EIN number and that's too easy you just go to the IRS website boom select register for a EIN number um, and again all this information that I'm giving you is gonna vary by state everybody every state is different okay so you have to look into your your requirements for your state okay if you need a business license for your state or if you need anything like that most cases that's not the case but you just got to do your due diligence you got to do your research all right so this is step by step how to do it okay I'm not giving you exactly everything you know but you have to go out and get these things done okay so you have a good understanding that's the point of this video the next step after that is going to be opening up a business bank account if you haven't checked out my video on how to open up an ATM business bank account be sure to do that up here okay make sure y'all check that out real good information all right on how to speak to banks and, and all that good stuff and what you need um, to accomplish that so that's gonna be your next step after after getting a, a entity and doing the EIN number then you're gonna need a contract and you don't need a contract but if you're really trying to take this business serious I really 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 recommend it because there's a lot of bill did you fart girl damn oh my gosh you farted Woo. Yo, I swear, she just laid one out, like nasty. The whole van is, is, is stinks. Oh, man. Woo. Golly, girl. All right, now that I let that air out, I'm back. What was I talking about? It's about the contract, all right? So yeah, you don't need a you don't need a contract, but it's important to get if you want to be taken serious, all right? There's a lot of liability involved if you don't have a contract. You know, other people could come in and, and, and get your ATM taken out and theirs putting in if you didn't have a contract. It eliminates a lot of risk, okay? So I definitely advise that. But again, you don't absolutely need it, but it's something you want to talk to an attorney with, see what requirements are needed for that industry. A great thing would be try to look for someone in your state that has a contract that's already drawn up. Provide them source, some sort of value, whether you tell them that you're going to pay for it or whatever, because it's really going to be rare to get something like that for free. I don't provide my contract to people for the simple fact because I my mentor gave me that personally and out of respect to her, and um, which is Carrie Buck. So if y'all join her course, which is phenomenal, I'm a student of hers, then you'll get access to that. So we talked about the contract. The next step to do is to go out and look for a location. It just doesn't happen automatically and it's not going to be 100% easy. You're not just going to walk into a business and say, hey, can I put my ATM in your business and everything is going to be dandelions and flowers. It doesn't work like that. So you have to put the legwork in. You have to go to a lot of businesses. You have to, you have to speak to a lot of um, business owners. You got to make a lot of phone calls and you got to be consistent on this stuff. One thing I'll let you know that's important is it's really, really rare that you're going to get a yes on the first approach. What I mean by that is really rare for you to just walk into a business and then they're just gonna say yes and you're gonna sign paperwork and everything's gonna be golden. All right, it may take three, four, five different approaches before you actually get that business owner um, to say yes. Okay, so you have to you know take a list, write the names down, write the places that you're going down, and if they're like, well, let me think about it, then you follow up with them. Okay, that's all important. If you haven't checked out my video on how to find businesses, I'll post it right up here. And I also have a bunch of different videos that help with those things. So just dive into the library, 
I have another video that talks about is it better to make phone calls or is it better to go into the businesses and y'all can check that out right here. So you went into businesses, you talked to people and you found a location. They said yes, okay? At this point, if you have a contract, you talk about the contract, you, had it, you get it signed, all that good stuff. Following that, all right, the next step is gonna be to order your ATM. All right, this is important because you need an ATM to put into their businesses. Now, you heard me say, order it after the fact, all right? A lot of people think that they need to buy an ATM, go out there and then place an ATM the moment they say yes. No, nah, don't do that because let's say you buy an ATM, you're out there hustling, you can't find a spot, you give up and you know, things like that happen. In order to combat that, what you wanna do is go find the location and then buy the ATM, then you bring it to the business, all right? That's gonna eliminate a lot of headache. So you found the location to put your ATM, you got your contract and all that good stuff signed, all right? Now you gotta send your paper up to whoever your processor is gonna be. In my case, how I do it, and again, I get this information from, from my mentor and how we run things so it's different, um, is I contact my processing company, my ISO, and then I purchase my ATM off of, off of them, all right? In your case, it might be a little bit different. Just have to call around, call different processing companies, call different you know places and find out how they do it, okay? But you have to, you have to set up your processor and then get your ATM, all right? And this is where you, you set up the paperwork. In my case, I send up my paperwork to my processor, I order my ATM, they send it to me. Um, and at that same time, that's when you're gonna put your bank account information, all right? Because remember, you found a bank, you got a bank, uh, for your ATM business and now we need to set up the bank account for that money that's in the ATM to go back into and in another account or you can use the same account that's for a different video um, for their surcharges and your profits to come in all right so that's gonna be that process right there you order your ATM it comes in the mail you inspect it you do all that good stuff and then once you do that you have to program it then you also put the business name on the actual ATM set the surcharge all that good stuff and then after you do that, you bring it to um, your location. And this is a step where you can kind of change, all right? So some people, what they do is they send the ATM, like myself, I send the ATM to my house, and then when it gets to my house, I program it and I do all that good stuff. And then after I program it and do all that stuff, then I actually send it and bring it to the actual business location and set it up. Then once you bring your ATM to the business where you're gonna place it, um, then you obviously if you want to bolt it you don't have to bolt it there's some people that don't I highly highly recommend you bolting your ATM down to the to the floor you're good to go then you just wait and watch them surcharges pile up and, and come in all right you evaluate it for a couple months see how the performance is and if the performance is doing well you keep it if the performance is doing crappy you move it if it's doing well and you find another location then you buy a new ATM if it's doing crappy then you just remove that one when you find another location and put your you know put that into the new location and it's really really simple okay it's really that easy all right I hope this video makes sense I hope it helps you guys out there as always I always appreciate the love the comments the support means a lot I really take that stuff to heart if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe if this video was helpful to you let me know leave a like okay leave a comment below as well and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well and I'll talk to y'all with another video hold up hold up hold up real quick before you guys go if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so by hitting this button right here and if you want to check out some more of my content be sure to click right here talk to y'all later